What's going on, guys? It's your boy Sam. I'm bringing you another great review on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NECA figures, Napoleon and Attila. Let's take a uh, quick look at the box. Uh, we can see Napoleon and, and Attila, the uh, Palm Rock Frogs from the uh, the 80s. Uh, has a little story. You can go ahead and pause that. And read that at your own time. It brings uh, two pictures of the frogs, then the other cross figures from uh, from this wave. Another picture here, and another one on this side. Uh, that's pretty much about it as far as the box. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see how they look like outside the box. Okay, guys, this is how the frogs look outside the box. Um, the Pretty much come with the same uh, accessories, except a few things changed, but not a whole lot. Um, they both come with money bags. These are pretty cool, very cartoony, so that's cool to have. Uh, they come with a extra uh, head scope. We're gonna play with these here in a little bit, and show you how they look like. Um, they all come with their own weapons. One is a whip. And it's bendable, so you can pose it as you want. See? You can pose it as you please. Just be careful with it that the uh, you don't screw up the uh, the wire that's on the inside. And then it comes out over time. That's been my experience with bendable toys in the past. So, food for thought. And this right here. I, I, I believe this is very cool right here. Because it, it moves. It's not stiff or a piece of plastic it's cool how you can pose it and it has weight to it so it, it gives it like a realism feel to it so this is cool so oh and it's and it's not plastic the chain the chain is not plastic so that's good it's, like i said it's it, it feels real or looks real um they both come with exchangeable hands. One's a fizz. Got this one. Then it's the same thing on the other side. So you can switch out which hands you want. That's pretty cool. Uh, he comes with open hands. And thumbs up. So those are pretty cool to have. Uh, they both come with little baby frogs. Isn't that cute? Little baby frogs. And if you remember the um, <clears throat> sorry, the episode where Raphael is sitting on the couch. This is what he's going through. It's a photo album of the um, of their adventures. Here's them right there. There's Rocksteady, there's Bebop. So this is what Ralph was Ralph was uh looking in the uh while he was on the couch when the episode started. So this is pretty cool. I like how they threw this in there. It's very unique. So this is a plus. Oh, and also the um the box do does come with a swamp illustration. So you can make your own di diorama. So this is not garbage. Don't throw this away. Uh, I've been noticing that the neck of figures box, um, their own characters bring one of these. So please don't throw that away if you want to use it. Uh, onto the figures. Uh, I'm going to do one because they're pretty much both the same. And articulation is the same all across the board. So I'm going to use this one right here. Take this off. So, for starters, uh, if you watch my Mondo Gecko video, um, I show how the paint comes off when you move them. Like when you move the character. And it literally peels in my hand. I like how this, for some reason, whoever did this paint job did an amazing job on it because they do not peel at all. I can move the joints, as you can see. And look, nothing. Nothing. 
nothing. With the Mon- with with the Mongo Gecko, it was peeling. It was I don't know. It was fresh out of the box too, so it was w- very very weird that it was peeling. So I never I never had a figure do that before. So, but in in any case, um, this one does not. So that's a plus. Um, I like the uniqueness and very cartoony of of these figures. The uh, the coat is rubber plastic. See. No, you can't take it off. And please do not try to take your arm off and take off the jacket. No, because you're gonna break it. So, food for thought. Um, his pants are somewhat also soft rubber or plastic, so that's good. That's a plus on the uh, on this figure. Um, everything pretty much moves. You got bent at the knee. The the ankle. And it also moves from side to side. Now I recommend um if the joints are very hard to move than normal, uh run the character through hot water. On hot water, it loosens up the joints. Especially when if you have to pop pieces in and swap them out. Like these figures, I suggest hot water. Um, does it have double bent at the elbow? I'm a fan of double bent at the elbow. These don't have it, but it's not a deal breaker for me. So, it's alright. Oh, 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 I stand corrected. Look. Well, I, I, I still don't know why. What's the deal with the paint, paint coming off? I, I don't get it. You know, but Whatever. Um, it rotates at the bicep too. Yeah, see, it rotates there, moves here, here, the hands. So he's very stiff, guys. Um, I don't know if you can notice that on the camera, but he's very stiff. Um, like I say, hot water. Uh, if you don't use hot water, what do you use to to pop the joints and make the character look more, make them more poseable? Put it in the comments. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what do you do in order to um, make make the figure more poseable. Like I said, I use hot water. That's just me though. So um, you won't get a lot of head movement outside of rotation. Because of this. If you go up. Oh. And I decapitated the frog. Damn. Okay. I got his head. It's okay. So, it's on a ball joint. <clears throat> um, it can't go up any higher. Due to the fact of the collar. So, there's that. And then we can just go ahead and. Come on. No, no, it's not. Hmm. Okay. Come on. There we go. It's on there. Okay. Okay, he's back. Let's put that head aside. Now he's a happy frog. There you go. There you go. So that's how you swap the heads. Just have some patience with it. <clears throat> um, it can be kind of rough or tough, but that's where the hot water comes in. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's where the hot water comes in, and it'll it'll help out to um, loosen it up and make it easier to. To swap. So let's go ahead and swap. Well, no, we don't need to swap out of hand. Nah, yeah, we go swap one out. It's fine. Take this one out. Let's put a thumbs up. There you go. See, thumbs up. Woohoo! Then we go ahead and put this here. Now he's ready to fight Leatherhead. Not really. Let the head will kill probably. But anyway. But 
There we go. Let's go ahead and put him on the stand here. See how that looks like. There we go. On him, <clears throat> we can go ahead and give him the whip. There you go. Mm-hmm. Now they're ready to hit the swamps in Florida. <laughs> yeah, for some reason these are from from Florida, the the frogs. And I live in Florida. So I think it's pretty funny. So and we have this head sculpt right here. Let's get a close in on that. So like I said, guys, they're they're just like the the cartoon. A lot of details, just like the cartoon. Go ahead and show him off real quick so you guys can see how he looks like. There you go. And the articulation is all the same, guys. That's what I said. I only, I'm only doing one because it's the same all across the board. So. And. Well, that's it for my review. Uh, I hope you found value in this video. So go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on any further videos just like this one. And until next time, guys.